Ow. <laughs> Hold on, I just fell over. Oh my god, I can't get up. <laughs> Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. I've fallen and seriously injured my friends. You should phone injury lawyers. I'm not going to say the name because they'll probably sue me. Anyway. <laughs> Hi everyone, we're back! <laughs> it's Bratz! And in the last episode, uh, we ended off with the girls finding out that Alonce was going to London and that they can go and interview her in London. Um, so, <laughs> that's where we're at. But we haven't finished the magazine yet, so... There's some research at the big interview with Alonce, go and buy some tunes at Rock Out. Hi, pretty princess! Maybe that's why I couldn't do Jane and Sasha's challenges. Maybe you had to specifically do Chloe and Thingby first and then you had to have the Alonso scene. Don't know why. Maybe their tasks relate to Alonso. They still haven't shown up. I thought they showed up there, but... Hey, Bunny Boo. Yeah, I take it that that's the way it is. Um, okay, well, Sasha's the big music person, so I feel like I should send her to do this. Me and Kirstie are going to Ice Heaven later, and I'm going to keep skating round her, and 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 then BAM! She'll totally fall through the ice I cut up. Or, at least, you know, be standing inside a circle of ice trails. Thanks for the info, Casey. Yes, hello. Uh, where am I going? Rock out. Uh, that's fine. What time is it? 10.43 a.m. Welcome to Rock Out! Thanks. Right. We got the Alonso music now. Oh, we do! Look! That sounds emotional. Then you see everything gets so confused. And nothing turns. Oh, I'm emotional. I know that's one. A jam. And then of course, the ultimate. A jam. That should do it. Now all I've got to do is meet up with the girls back at the office and we'll head off to London. Woo! Oh my god, calm down. Um, I want to do some more tasks here first though because I don't want to go to London then it cuts off the quests. Although I don't know how many I still have to do, admittedly. If any, I'm not sure actually to be honest. But I'm going to do a quick cycle around the town just to see. Eating in the smoothies Hello. is unimportant. Okay, Cameron doesn't have anything for me. Kimmy doesn't have anything. I already did Fianna's. Dylan doesn't have anything. I did Katya and I did Roxy. Cade never had anything that I know of. But again, I'll just do a quick once, once over at the time. Uh, yeah, nothing from Fianna. Don't even know where Dylan went. He's there. Nothing from Dylan. Hey! Catch is alright. 
We just dead rocks this task, so she's cool. Just double check, Cade hasn't suddenly decided he wants stuff. He does not. Okay, cool, we should be able to just, oops, go back to the office then. Oh, 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 oh. right, okay. <laughs> Same. How about this? Um. Perfect. Nah, too funky. Um. How about this? Yeah, rock angels. Nah. Um, guys. Well, looks like we're pretty much good to go. Now we've just got to get to London. Better hop in the Bratz truck. It's in the parking lot just off the lobby. Once you've finished things you want to do in Stylesville, head over to the tour bus in the parking lot and start your journey to London. Well, it doesn't seem like we have anything left to do in Stylesville, so I think we should be cool to go <coughs> to go to London. <coughs> um. Okay, well, let's do that then, I guess. Hello, brat. <laughs> the park Top hat the side of the room. Let's head there when we're ready to leave Stylesville. Time to travel! We won't be coming back to Stylesville anytime soon. So are we sure about leaving now? You're making me uncomfortable. You're making me uncomfortable. I feel like I you mm. No, we we're good, we're good. I got the cat outfit, so you know we're all we're sorted. We're we're slamming. Okay, right. Get on the bus. Remember back in the first game when you could just hop willy nilly from London to Stylesville like within seconds? Why did they get rid of that feature? Because it's unrealistic. That's not the point. Like, no, you don't just hop over to London to put up posters. But come on. Oh God, we're flying in the brass plane. Okay, this is footage from Rock Angels. Literally, this is footage from the Rock Angels movie. That they didn't include in the actual Rock Angels game. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, Bunny Boo. Hey, Cool Cat. You find anything styling for me to wear at the store? Um, well, not exactly. Oh, no. Don't tell me the store doesn't sell boots. I knew I should have brought boots. Oh, I'm sure they have boots. Whew. But they just closed down. What? Where are Jay's eyebrows? Problems apparently. The customers just stopped coming. But Punkadelic is my favorite London store. We're gonna have to walk about in the tacky tourist tap that those creepy guys sell at their creepy stalls. And we are so going to look like tourists and we'll never get into the clubs. And they'll probably take our passports, and we'll have to work for those creepy guys in their creepy stalls. No way. What's going on? We can fix this. We Why is it glitching out? Launch Punkadelic. We've got to promote that store so that everyone in London is knocking on its door. Come on, people! Our wardrobe depends on it. I'll get oh. on this one, girls. Okay. First things first. Let's head outside and take a photo of Punkadelic to help us with our promo plans. Okay, I feel like um, wearing tourist clothes is probably the least of Chloe's worries right now. Like, I can see like a bigger issue with the way that she looks. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. Like, it is, it is difficult to notice, but I think there's definitely something that's going to get her more looks than wearing tourist clothes. But that's just me, you know, that's just, that's just my opinion. Oh look, this guy's back. Hi there. That cell phone of yours is bowling. You don't call it a cell phone in England. Oh, for the love of God. Do you come back to see me? Oh, thanks, love. You know I love a London boy. I enjoy walking Brixton. I can't remember the words. <laughs> Alright. You know Alonso's over here doing promo stuff. I'm gonna try and grab her autograph. 
She loves my Amer he loves my American smile like a child when her eyes meet. Darling, I fancy you. Why are the Tweebles here? Take me back to Highgate. Met all of his best hey, yeah. mates. So I guess all the rumors are true. Down with London, Queen Kirsty, they call me. Do you fancy a cup of tea, dear? You know I love a London boy. Boy, I fancy you. Oh, look, we've got a pet shop here now too. Um. What's up, Brad? That red public telephone box totally clashes with my dress. Sure. Is this Queen's Music Academy? Like, as you can see, they reused the entire London asset from the first game, right? But they have changed some stuff. Like, this is not... That's the Palace Hotel, which was not in that location before. Also, we can't live in it now because they're like, oh, it's alright, we brought the fucking bus somehow across the sea. But yeah, poor Punkadelic. What a shame. R.I.P. Punkadelic. Is Pin still here? The, the cinema's still here. Yeah, the layout's all different. Because that was the hotel before, but now it's a music academy and the hotel's moved across the street. What is this? A chocolate shop. Yeah, Pins is not here. Oh wait, here it is. This is Pins. Alright, fair enough. They've shoved it even more into a corner, but never mind. Right, Punkadelic. Nice one! Okay, now let's head back to the truck and use this photo to design our Punkadelic poster. We've got to save that store. Pretty and punk, pretty and punk, pretty and punk, yeah. They've still got the stupid Bratz punk rock posters up here. Like, it's been years since you girls were here, but okay. Now let's create a poster to show everyone what a cool store Punkadelic really is. The Bratz Express. It's a tour boss. Right, where's the poster table? Why, why is it always the fucking poster table? Every two minutes in this game, they're like, let's make a poster. Let's not. Let's not do that. Okay, right. Can I make it black? Do they allow me to make it black? I feel like they don't, but I want to make it black. Ugh, that'll do. Um, right, what we got? Stick some union flags on it. Like the, um, the true Brexiteers that we are. That is a joke. Brexit is bad. Didn't vote for it. Don't want it. Our country is full of idiots. Um, of course the brats are just slapping their own faces on the poster. <laughs> As you do. Um, opening soon. You can't just say that and then hope that it does. Like, you can't just say it's going to open. That's not how it works, you dumb, dumb brats, bitches. <laughs> I don't fucking know what I'm saying. Yeah, what if I just covered up the whole picture? Nah, I don't want to put open in fuck. <laughs> Fair enough. I was going to say, I don't want to put open soon on it because I think that that's misleading and I don't want them to take me to the Advertising Standards Authority of the UK. Got the posters. Now we've just got to put them up. Let's head outside and posterize London. Oh, girl, you did not just say posterize. Oh, Lord. It's time to de evilize. Miraculous ladybug. Posters on all the billboards. Oh, God, now it's timed. No time to lose. I do love though that, um, I mean this game was made in the UK right so there's not even any excuse for this really, um, but the fact that like the uh, the concept of Bratz is that everything in London is like punk, like punk is still a subculture but it's not nearly as popular as it was in the 90s, like we have as a culture moved on in the UK, 
you go to London, it's not just wall-to-wall -wall punk shops. That's not how it works. Oh my god, I can't get her to stop. No, get out of the way, fucking cat. Right, I've got two left to go. Where are they? Oh, here we go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh Jesus Christ. Ooh, I haven't looked at these. Right, there we go. Punk is out open for business. The last one. Wait, she has a task? The trick. God, everyone suddenly got tasks. What? Um... I just want to say that's not how it works. Like, you can't just- if a shop's closing down in your town, you can't just put up a poster and it saves the shop. That's not how that works. Sasha's secret diary. Sasha, what the hell? What are you keeping from us? Styles will sing out. Walking Royale. What? What? Style girl fashion queen? Well, whatever I guess. Um, right, I've been playing as Jasmine for a while, so like I want to go and get one of the other girls and find out if that means I can finally do their tasks. I think Sasha said she had an Alonce article she wanted to do in London. Oh, so you want me to talk to Sasha then? Hi, Bunny Boo. Right. The hell do you want from me, Sasha? All right! Punkadelic is open again and shopping is back on. Time to dress and impress. Okay, I hear there's a hot music stars line just hitting the streets, and I'll bet Punkadelic has it in store. Let's roll. Music stars. Welcome to London. Take a look around. What? No, I shouldn't sing that. Oh, look, a squirrel. To be fair, the squirrels in the London parks are incredibly friendly. Every time you go to London, like the last time I was in London, there was this woman sitting on a bench that had like five squirrels. There was like one on her shoulder, a few on her lap, one was like trying to get on her head. The squirrels in London are incredibly friendly. <laughs> Here, eat your treat. I also, um, when I was in London, fed a squirrel an M&M. Yeah. Like, I'd been to the M&M store, had a bunch of M&Ms. Fed the squirrel M&Ms. Very strange. Squirrels in London are just a different breed, man. Uh, right, what am I doing? Go to Punkadelic. Where the fuck? Oh, there. Yeah, apparently the Tweevils have tasks for me. This is a new one. Also, are we going to do the pet competition? Is that going to be a thing? Because I want to make sure... It gives me the stress after the last game didn't register one of my bloody pet things. And check it out. They've got music stars. Let's get shopping. Right, what is music stars when it's at home? It already looks bad. Wow. Sasha, no offence, this is the most boring line of clothes I've ever seen. This is just a bunch of plain tops. Are you joking me? What is music stars about this? Christ, I'm not even going to buy these. Like, How incredibly boring. Girl, you had me excited this was going to be some cool celebrity fashion. What have you given me? Some plain tops that looks like I got them at a charity shop. Honestly. Sassy! Let's grab some new Music Stars boots to go with our new outfit. Yeah, and how plain are these going to be? Well, at least these are slightly more interesting. A bit. None of them match what I'm wearing though. Those three look- well those two, them and them look exactly the same to me. Oh, one's got a bit across the front and one doesn't. What a- They don't match! I'm wearing all black! Look! What? Oh, it's 
gonna have to be these, but at least bloody hell. Also, how are Four Trims Cowboy Boots music stars? Unless you're meaning country music, in which case I guess. But Alonso is not a country music star; she's a pop singer. All set. Let's get some pics of this style and look for the magazine. Is there hats? Outside. I'm gonna get some hats. Yeah, they definitely are going for country music stars, which. Fine, but again, don't really get the logic. Also, none of none of this matches. A lot of things going to be so disappointed in us. <laughs> right, what am I doing here apart from looking like Mandy? Take pictures yourself using the photo booth in the park. Oh, there's glasses. Oh, god damn it. I mean, I want to get all, all the stuff. Got to get the glasses. Got to really complete this incredible look. Can you tell my brain is melting at this point? Like, I'm losing all hope here. Oh, wow. I'm not even looking at the price of them buying stuff. Whatever. Ooh, blinks. Apparently we're on Barnaby Street. Not Carnaby Street. Even though they say that in the film that they want to go to Carnaby Street, but apparently we're on Barnaby Street. Just in case a street in London sues us, I guess. What, the City of London Council? Time for some quick photo booth fun! That one. Sure. <laughs> yes! That should make a perfect fashion feature on how to glam up like a music star. Alonce would be proud. <laughs> she won't be. At least we got some decent money for that one. Right. Punk girl. What do you want? Hi. Hi there, your pet's cute. How about a photo of it wearing my fave colours, red, white and blue? Lush, go check out Punky Pets for the colours and head back here to take a photo of the little cutie standing next to me. Again, British people are not obsessed with the colours of our flag. To be honest, American people are more obsessed with the <laughs> colours red, white and blue than British people are with the colours red, white and blue. It always makes me laugh though, because like Americans will be like, oh, you know, like, you know, I love God and the red, white, and blue, and it's like, our flag's the exact same colour as yours. Like, you got your independence from us, but you made your flag the same colour as ours. <laughs> Don't know, I just find that funny. What am I. Wait, what line am I using? Nope. Oh my. London pet fashion is over. And now I can't get back in the dressing room. Okay, they really are just red, red, white, and blue. I hate it so much. Oh god. This poor cat. Next to your punky London girlfriend. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. That's our girlfriend now, is it? 
I have a punky London girlfriend. You know, it doesn't sound too unrealistic for me. Anyway, well, I was trying to go through the park, but the game had other ideas. Going this way. Okay, punky London girlfriend. Look at my dumb cat. I'm ready for my close-up when your pet is. Hi. Cute pet, by the way. I okay, what am I doing? Because that's not working. Take a picture of your pet sitting next to your punky London girlfriend. Okay, well, it's taken a year and a half to get here, but... Uh, well, girl, maybe if you walk back to my cat is set nice, and you're not punky London girlfriend. Come and sit, stand next to my cat. Look, the cat's right there. This your first time in London? How do I do this task? Wait, really? Our head's not even in the picture, but fine. Princess Beth Golden is now available. Ah, what a great pick! Yeah, a great pick. Pet should dress, don't you think? He is a present for your little buddy. Cheers. Hi. Baffling. Eh. <laughs> Anyway. Tweevil. Karsty, what do you want? What? You think you can beat me on your skates? Well, bring it on, brat. Oh, we're racing. You know what you gotta do. Race through all the checkpoints and see if you can beat my best time. Then break down and cry when you realize you can't. <laughs> Oh, this did not go well the last time in the fashion promenade. You're not like turkey, are you? Uh, chicken? You're gonna lose if you skate like that! At least this area is a bit bigger, it's sort of easier to navigate, because that last time I was duke shy. are just well oiled that's all i'll oil mine and take you next time no problem yes oops i just kicked the microphone we did it thank god because I could not be arsed going through what we went through in the fashion promenade. It went so badly the last time. Um, okay, so for some reason that gave us a new song. Uh, fair it is. Right, I'm gonna go get Jade. Oh, it's you. Wait, why has she got a task again? What, what's going on? Ooh. That's not a very nice thing to say about your boss. I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna tell her you said that. Uh, okay. Back in the bus! Oh god, there's another cutscene. So, Bunny Boo, we're cool for clothes now, right? 
Yeah, we are. This new line is perfect. I'll no, it isn't. wish we were the music stars in London. Well... Brainstorm alert? You got it, Angel. Why don't we put on a show for Alonce? Hey, yeah, she'd love that. And we could use it as a special feature for our Alonce issue. Sweet. We can put the show on at Pins. And learn a new track at the Music Academy right here in London. Scorch an idea, girls! Let's get started right away! Time for another round of show prepping. Better check out my Bratz planner to make sure we've gotten all the bases covered. Head over to the Queen's Venus Academy to clear your soul into Maze alone so you'll need to finish all three lessons. Jade still hasn't done a task though. Why has Jade not got a task? I'll just send her out to do the last few side missions then. What happened? Unless, am I dumb? No, because we started with Chloe. Alonso style. Pixie pets. Pixies on ice. So we're missing Cinema Buff and Royal Riddles, which I assume are both outside right now because that there's a cinema in London and also obviously London Royal Family, all that stuff. Oh look, the London boy has a task. Alright. Alright. You know there's a pet competition going on around here? Why not check it out? Nice one. It's at Punky Pets, I think. Check out the trophy cabinet just next to the shopkeeper. Right. Who's doing these English accents? I need to know. Where's my credits? Do they still have the, like... Yeah. Yeah, the the landmarks in the background. Hey ya! Hey ya! Hey girl, hey! I'm trying to open this box with one hand. Someone asked if I was playing this on an emulator back in like the Rock Angels playthrough. And it made me laugh because it, it never even occurred to me that you could like play these games on an emulator. It's like, no, these are on my actual discs. On my actual PS2. Okay, let's see what you got. Just follow the poses and you'll do great. It's almost telepathic. Expertly done. It's almost telepathic. It's almost telepathic. Expertly done. If only my pet was that talented. So young, yet so obedient. Expertly done. Expertly done. Congratulations. Woohoo! Between pet and owner, perfectly displayed there. And that's it for this show. Let's I must buy run. Come back to pose it out again and see who will grab that crown next time. Bratz Magazine gets the gold trophy and an exclusive new pet palace for their little winner. It'll be waiting for you back at your offices, girls. Well done. I don't think they've got the credits in this book. How incredibly disappointing. No, I don't think they do. How dare you? Now I don't know who's... I'll have to wait until the end. They do have character bios though, listen to this, right? Chloe, nickname Angel. Chloe's so creative that her whole life has become a work of art, from designing fantastic fashions to creating cool new cosmetic looks for her ten to her tendency to be dramatic. Sometimes her imagination runs away with her, but her friends help this angel stay grounded. Jade, nickname Cool Cat. Always on the cutting edge of cool, Jade's the ultimate fashionista. After checking out the latest fashion mags, the trendiest boutiques and the thrift stores, she always manages to put together looks that are completely unique and look like one cool cat. Sasha, nicknamed Bunny Boo. Sasha's not afraid of confrontation. She knows who she is, what she wants and how to get it. Fashion's a huge part of her life, but music is even more important to Bunny Boo. Someday you can be sure she'll be a record producer with her own fashion line. Yasmin, nicknamed Pretty Princess. 
Sometimes Yasmin can be a little quiet, but even without opening her mouth, you can just sense she's special. There's just something about her that seems almost regal. But Yasmin's not pretentious. She's really open-minded and always up on the alternative trends in fashion, fitness, and beauty. That's such a terrible description, because, like, that doesn't tell you anything about Yasmin. That just says she's quiet. Like, it doesn't tell you anything about her. <laughs> Go tell London boy. Honestly, can we not give these people names? You know I love a London boy. Boy, I fancy you. We can go riding on my scooter, just round London. Pet pose tastic. That's one pucker little pet you've got there, mate. And now he's got a brand new home to sleep in. Sweet. Something happened, I heard him laughing I saw the dimples first and then I heard the accent They say home is where the heart is But that's not where mine is You know I love a London boy This is the Music Academy here in London They should have another tune for us to learn and play at the show In a minute, we're talking to Casey You again? Hi The movie posters around London are like totally off the hook Would you take some photos of them for me? Why? Do it yourself. Oh, you will? Go on then, chop chop. Do it yourself. Oh, love of God. I'm trying to take my shoes off. No, don't put them back on. We are too close. Nice. Cool. Looks good. So you be up and down the street, just wanna be with you. Just wanna be with you. That's the last one. No, that's Carsey. Where'd she go? Okay, sir. Okay, so here you are. You did it! Yay! They'll do, I suppose. Here, take this spare cinema ticket if you want. But don't think you'd be getting this if Royale was allowed inside. <laughs> Yay, the cinema's open. How exciting. Why do you still want to talk to me? My tea time treat score of 20 is, like, way out of your league. But you can have a stab at it if you're ready to, like, totally humiliate yourself. I don't mind. <laughs> Well, go get down to tea time treats and get ready to lose! What is going on? Where is tea time treats? I want to go through the park. Oh, wow. I just can't... Honestly, this, these skates, right? I take it it's this ugly pink thing over here. Woohoo! Wait, what else can it be? Come on. What am I thinking? What am I getting wrong here? Oh wait, hold on. Progress. 
What? Wait, what? What am I thinking? Okay. I need to try that again. What the hell went wrong? I'm so confused. There we go. 50 blinds and 10 treats. Whippy. Don't know what I was doing that first time. Clearly my brain was just not having it. Oh my goodness, the receipt is still in the Bratz movie box. Huh. Interesting. So, right. I've always been like, what was wrong with me? Because on the box, on the Bratz movie box, it says it costs £29, right? Uh, well, £29.99, it costs 30 quid. And I was like, How, what was I doing as a child that I thought I could buy a game for 30 quid? But as it turns out on the receipt, it only cost me £19.98. So why is there a £30 sticker on it? I have no idea. I bought it on the 2nd of January 2008 from a cashier named Ali. Well, there you go. So I didn't spend £30 on Bratz the movie. What a, what a revelation for me. But yeah, I bought it 2nd of January 19... Uh, 19... No. 2008. Go tell Casey that you've beaten her poor excuse for a high score. Hey, ya! Lucky, just lucky. Doggy treats are totally your bag, then. <laughs> Doggy bag. But here, at least you can add this to your stupid collection. Okay. You again? Hi. Are you gonna give me the last thing for the magazine? Hello again. I've lost an earring around here. Reckon that cute pet of yours could find it for me? Oh, thank you. I'm feeling a little lopsided without it, you know? What is she on about? Wait, where'd it go? Nice one. You've got the scent. Okay, I need to take these shoes off because this is not working. There's just no turning circle in these these skates. Where is it? It must be now. Where did it go? So I was looking up online there because I wanted to figure out um, the Royal Riddles task seems to take place after we've done the music lessons and stuff. So we won't do that yet. And that's fine. I just wanted to make sure because in the previous games I never had this problem but in this one because they keep locking like Cheers. missions behind time and stuff like I can't figure out if I'm missing something or if the, I'm 
if the game is just not giving me tasks. Some new musical earrings. What, are musical in style or is in they actually play music? So there's a big difference there. Okay, right. Let I think we've done all the tasks in the town then, by the looks of this. Which means we should be able to just go and do the music lessons now and then there's some more nonsense to come. Hello again. Shall we press on with our song? Sure. Let's see what amazing song we get this time. Sounds like some kind of crap smoke on the water. Oh, Wonderful. You've made a great Okay, so we'll need a new song to play at the Lance show, so I should come back soon. I'm afraid there may be a bit of trouble with the next music lesson, my dear. You see, I seem to have misplaced the sheet music for the next part of the song. I think I lost the pages outside somewhere. I don't suppose you could be a dear and find them for me, could you? Otherwise, we won't be able to play the second part of the song. Sure, I'll go out and look for them right now. Oh, splendid. Good luck, and come back as soon as you've found them for the next lesson. Okay, girl, you heard our tutor. Use that nose of yours to find those music pages. Are cats actually good at tracking, like, sniffing stuff out? I don't really know much about cats. Oh, you befriend animal. Oh, they brought that back from Rock Angels. Nice. This is why they should have kept the park. Okay, I think I should treat her now to keep her energy up. Do you got her eyebrows back yet? Yeah, she does. That's good. All right, just one more page to find. Woohoo! Let's take these back to the academy and learn that song. Let's do it. Thanks for just padding out the game and making it just even longer to do these stupid lessons by making me go and pick up sheets. Well, let's see what they hold for us, shall we? Time to tackle section two. Let's go. Did it again. Let's just finish the lesson. I can't be bothered going back and swapping the girls. Only one last section to go. Let's give it a whirl. Last one. Let's see if we can get this song finished today. Let's go. Amazing. 
We did it. Magnificent. You've learned the entire song now. That's everything I can teach you on this song. Well done again, and good luck with the show. I hate these accents. I hate them. Play Alonso Rocks at the Queen's Academy anytime you like. A new single is available to download from the start of the Fast Express. Hi there, Brat. Listen, we really appreciate your help in reopening Punkadelic London. Business is booming. Now, how would you like to have your own styles on sale here? Cool, eh? Come and talk to me in the store if you're interested. See you later. Okay. Have you come about that special design task we're offering you? Sweet. Well, it's pretty simple. Just go design a new top and bottom outfit for our store and come back here wearing it. Try to use the new punkadelic design decals we've just made available. The punkier, the better. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Design a totally rocking the top and bottom to boost punkadelic sales. Ugh. Why? Why do you enjoy me suffering? Oh, it's you. <laughs> Hi, I like want to set up an interview with the Lance. I'm calling from Your Thing magazine. Yes, we ran the article Crazy for Culottes. So, like, when's our interview? He said not in a million years. But Alonso will be, like, old by then. He means, like, no way. He gave the brats an interview and not us. Okay, that is, like, so bogus. I know. We're, like, so much more better than them. Hey, I got an idea. Brats Magazine, Sasha. Uh, due to, like, scheduling stuff, your interview with Alonso has been pushed back two hours. So it'll be at four rather than two. Yeah, I mean, that is correct. <laughs> Why are they back in the office though? They're all meant to be in London. Oh, now she's got the Royal Riddles article. Cool. But she's meant to be doing the Punkadelic thing. We can take two at the time, Yasmin though. Yasmin has come up with a special London photo hunt game for our readers, and she wants me to try it out before we run the article. I, should remember, I don't know what to do first. I'll see it. Hey, cool cat. You ready to start my photo mystery? Here's a clue for the first photo. <clears throat> I'm red like the buses that drive through the city. I'm where superheroes go to make themselves pretty. I don't have a voice, so I've not much to say. But I will help you talk to your friends far away. <laughs> Any ideas? What the hell, Yasmin? Okay, well, first of all, we're going to make some clothes. Against my better judgment. Hi, cool. So we need to make a top and a bottom. For Punkadelic. The joys. Did I even run that space? Um. I kind of want to make a jacket because I mean it's punkadelic, so. And give them like a kind of deep red. Yeah. Um. I don't really think like any of these really work for Punkadelic, to be honest. Eh, maybe that. Oh, we've got 12 pages of stuff now, okay. Fairies. Music stars. Movie star. This looks more in line. Oh, 
Okay. Um, alright, we need to make bombs now. I think I want to make a pair of flares. And make them... I want to do the deep red again. I don't want to go... The problem is the blue never looks good. Like, never. Maybe I can do that. Um. There. Don't want a pattern for that. I don't know if I do their jeans, you know. Why are these exactly the same? Exit. Let's see how bad this looks. Because I liked what Jade was wearing, so I'm about to ruin it. I should have used Sasha. Because Sasha hasn't had a new outfit in ages. Hi, cool cat. Oh wait, no she does, because I forgot she put on music stars. Never mind. Okay, that doesn't look so bad. Yeah, that, that is not so bad. You can't see the picture on the t-shirt because I've got her hair down. But it doesn't look too bad at all. If you ask me. I really like that hair on her. I didn't realise at first that it had highlights in it. It's great. It was great. Where's Punkadelic? This way. Whatever. And here. Oh, one of a kind too. That's just the sort of gear we can ship around these parts. Nice one! Here's a little of the Queen's bling for ya. <laughs> what is this? Fucking Del Boy's little sister or something? 2,000 blings though, decent. Wow, we've got over 10 grand. Woohoo, we can finally afford stuff. Right, what was Yasmin's stupid riddle again? I'm red like the buses that drive through the city and where superhero goes to make themselves pretty. I don't have a voice so I have not much to say but I'll help you talk to your friends far away. Is it by any chance this red telephone box right in front of me? So, you got the telephone box photo, huh? Great start, cool cat. Okay, now come back to the Bratz train and see me for a clue to the next photo. It's not a train, it's a bus. It's tour bus. What do you mean, train? Are you trying to tell me that- I, I mean, is this why they're in the underground? Oh my god, it is actually a train. It's the Bratz personal train. Oh, you are kidding me. Wow. Well, wow. Well done on snapping the phone box, cool cat. You look about ready for another riddle. Here's a clue for the next photo you need. I'm red, white, and blue, like the colors of the flag. Visit me when walking becomes a real drag. Underneath me you'll pass at the end of the day. To step on a train and be off on your way. <laughs> I think you're gonna get this one. But if you need another hint, just come and chat to me again, cool cat. I'm red, white and blue like the colours of the flag. Visit me when walking becomes a real drag. Underneath me you'll pass at the end of the day to step on a train and be off on your way. The underground. The state of Chloe. believe they got their own train and how did they get it onto the subway you can't just bring your own train to the London Underground don't work that way poor Chloe man she looks so bad nice detective work cool cat it's time to hit you with one more mystery photo to snap ready for the last clue okay here it is 
I loom over London from far away, and I'll show you the sights of the city by day. At night all you'll see are the lights down below me. From Punkadelic stores, you can see me move slowly. There you go, cool cat. Now, I'm not giving you any more clues for this one, girl. So head outside and get hunting for that photo. Boom over London, London, over London from far away, and I'll show you the sights of the city by day and night. All you'll see are the lights down below me from Punkadelic stores. You can see me move slowly. The London Eye, by the sounds of it. Rock and riddles from Yasmin. That should make for an excellent, excellent puzzle article for our readers in London. All right, I actually snapped all the right photos from Yasmin's clues. Our reader should be fine with that little puzzler. Woo! I have a feeling we're going to get a cutscene now because we've done everything. So let's see what happens. Wow, this place is like so swanky. Yeah. Hi. Hi, we're here to interview Alonce. I'm Sasha from Bratz Magazine. And I'm like Jade. Yeah. yeah. We're like Sasha and Jade from Bratz Magazine. Uh, and Mito. Okay, are your hair extensions like real? You get five minutes, go. Hey, Christy, do you think I should get, like, hair extensions? Like, only if you want to look even more stupid. Four minutes. Oh, she's so impatient. Yeah. So, like, I saw one of your videos, at least I think it was yours, and I thought, wow, like, I make a really good backup singer. Casey, you can't sing. Yo, a sailor went to see, see, see. To see what he could see, see, see. Interview over. See, see, see you later. <laughs> oh no, the drama. So, how did the interview go? There was no interview. Turns out our meeting was at 2 o'clock after all. But the only Bratz magazine interviewers there were wearing matching pink pumps. No way! And now Alonce must think we're total dweebs. Hey, just because the Tweevils stole our interview doesn't mean we can't still do our show. We need to show Alonce who the real Bratz are. We'll put on a show so good that she'll want to come to us for an interview. Who's with me? I am. Me too. Totally! Time to let everyone know about the show. Not so fast, Bunny Boo. Aren't you forgetting something? Yeah. How about we teach Casey and Kirsty that stealing our scoop was a dumb idea, even by their standards? Angel, you read my mind. <laughs> oh, it is so on. Time to teach them Tweevil the lesson. Let's head outside and see what they're up to. I think we'll leave it there for today. Um, the amount of drama these girls have, honestly, also, I still, I still haven't done anything about Chloe. So, like, let's show, <laughs> let's show Alonso the brats really are. Um, a girl in a cat costume and a girl with a green painted face. <laughs> and if that doesn't sum up the brats, nothing ever will. Uh, but once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here for more of this absolute chaos. And I'll see you next time when we put on a show for Alonce. What can I say? <laughs> Bye, everyone.